I'm going to do a series of screenshots uh, that begins at about 6 a.m. today. Today is uh, March 17th, 2023, and these are all still shots. There's no live screens on here, but it's a progression that I uh, traded up to a little over $2,000 today. I've had a wonderful week. Uh, I think I've booked, uh, as I said to some guys in the room, uh, it's, I guess it's somewhere over $14,000. So uh, let me show you. Uh, this was the beginning. This was um, 6.38 a.m. I took this screenshot. And this is my Asian zone right in here. And I elected to uh, enter long at this point. Didn't stay long. Didn't stay in that, in that uh, trade very long at all. And let me move to 6.59. Uh, here I was just showing on my market analyzer. Again, as you may know, I use the um, Ninja Trader 8. I've not updated to the most recent iteration because I just don't trust it right now. And everything's working fine. So I don't see a need to, to move until they force me. Uh, what I was showing here is the risk off. You can see that uh, here I've got fixed income and metals. I only have one instrument under each one. And here I've got... Uh, the, Fixed income is all all green and gold's all greens and and I read that as you know risk is off and that's that's a no brainer everybody knows that if they read the headlines and um, this was that uh, trade I ended up with and I just showed you and then if I click the next one this is 7:37 a.m. what what I'm showing here is a is a tool that I really like it's a it's a cluster of MACDs on different time frames you can see the three six and twelve. And it's a modification of the MACD. It's not your default, but I suspect you could use the default and create the same thing. But uh, what I like to see, see all these tag, all these labels out here, you know, that's showing the MACD, the signal line, and also the difference, which is the histogram, all of them red. And I was seeing some zeros, uh, just, you know, just pegged to the wall, I guess you'd say, um, about that time of the day. And that helps me get in. Here's a summary report uh, at some point, I guess. Let's see, that was at 8.22 a.m. this morning. I'm just showing. What I wanted to show was the average time in a trade. And and when I look back over a lot of data, I'm like four to five minutes in terms of a trade. So that's that's the kind of scalper that I'm in. And here you've got, um, well, you've got a profit factor of 99. And that's the default when there's no losses. And there was no losses in this. Uh, in that report um, and then this would be at uh, 10 38 a.m. and I was showing just a kind of a bear chart and I've pegged all my trades here and I had 17 trades total today uh, some of them I scaled in and no losses uh, as a matter of fact yesterday I had no losses and I had probably an equivalent number of trades maybe more and uh, th I'm just showing the uh, the accumulation of profits here at this time 529 and you can see my Asian zone right up here that I and I I know where that is last night you know by gosh 8 o'clock 8 p.m. Eastern time this is yesterday's high pre-session high right there and the pre-session low and the uh, yesterday the prior days low down here and let's see let's go to 1054 here's an example of a trade um, coming down here and again I don't stay in these long so that brought me up to a thousand dollars there and 1121 I'm showing here uh, a bear flag uh, and I think that broke later on we'll we'll show you in a minute here and that's that's pretty much where the whole day from this point forward stayed just kind of uh, dancing up and down uh, pretty much you know coming up and marrying into this uh, initial balance low right here and uh, you can see, uh, you know, price came up twice to the to my Asian zone right up there, right? And uh, I for, I don't I guess I guess I didn't take any of those trades. Um, I forget I forget. Uh, and next one's eleven forty three, and that is um, what are we? At? We're at twelve hundred dollars profit there. Okay, so that bear flag did did break. It did, broke down here making the session low. And here's the weekly VWAP right here, which I kept thinking that maybe the market had its intention of coming down here to close out the week like it so often does. And here's the measured move uh, down here. Uh, multiple ones, actually. You know, it's a, you know, just stack one on top of the other. Here's 11.56 this morning. 
uh, ended up with $1,300 profit and continuing to come down. And these little blue lines right here, they are the midlines I talk about. This is using the weekly VWAP, and these are the midlines, uh, midway between standard deviations, and they must be respected. And then at 1201, I'm just showing profit at that. Oh no, that was, uh, that was week to date. Yeah, that was from Sunday to uh, at some point at um, 12 o'clock noon today, right? It's been a good week. Now, this is 134. Uh, this is for the day up to 1753. And then 141, I think, in the afternoon. I'm showing some of these targets, thinking that maybe it can finally get above this. Uh, uh, session low, pre-session low rate in here, and get up to uh, get up to that target, but it never did make it. And then here's 146 in the afternoon. Just another recap showing. Uh, look at the gold, 1977, right? And we're still risk off. Everything's green there on those uh, fixed income and on the commodities, the gold. And this is a uh, measured move target down here, uh, using the uh, Trade Devils uh, device that uh, predicts you know, a p potential targets down here. And again, there's the weekly VWAP. And uh, so it's showing you that. And then at three, uh, I'm sorry, 223, uh, just talking about, you know, grabbing some profits as it move, as it makes its way down up to 1882. And then at 331, uh, I stopped trading at this point. Uh, and this, I think, was my final number. He yeah, had $2,003 net of commissions. And here was a, uh, oh, this this actually broke. I don't have a picture of it, a screenshot. But this, just as I said to the folks in the trade room, that I thought the air was getting a little thin being this late in the day and late in the week. It stopped trading, then this started to break, but then it just went sideways. Uh, so that's a recap. Uh, gives you an idea of how this day went for me and uh, using some of the approaches that I like to take.